And in terms of the finance minister, it's quite clear that the author of the emails, and I don't believe for one moment the author was Mr O'Hara, but whoever the author of the emails was, it's quite clear that they had an expectation of a helpful role being played by Mr O'Mullier. Because the email on the 22nd of September at 22.01 hours expressly anticipates some helpful intervention from Mr Amelia, which would help get the matter from private into public. And it's interesting then when you go to the Hansard of that session, when that decision was taken, that Mr Amelia made this observation. I think that the public is desperate to find out who was going to benefit from this fixed, crooked, corrupt deal. And I believe that Mr Bryson will be able to help us in that. What was the basis of that belief? Where was that belief grounded? Was it grounded from prior sight of the opening statement with the uh, references to person A, B, C, D and E? Or was it grounded in something else? Because if he publicly expressed a belief in support of the evidence being given in public that Mr Bryson would be able to help us in that, then it had to be grounded in something. And in expressing that opinion, of course, he fulfilled the anticipation of the author of the email that he would make a helpful intervention. And uh, therefore I think it's not enough for the present minister to simply say, I knew nothing of these communications. I think there are many more probing questions (coughs) in that regard.